Welcome back again. So this is the day after, actually the morning after, I spray foamed the rockers, the fenders. I also had a dent by the tail light. So what I did was it just made a loose tape roundabout here, right? So once, once this is completely dry, because it was still soft in the center when I peeled the tape off, we can see how it didn't really stick to the tape. So that worked really well. So once this completely cures, I'll trim this down. I'll give it a light sand, and then I'll show you what the next step would be for me <clears throat> to keep moving. So this is what you get. I want it completely expands. Uh, and you can see how well it, the, uh, the foam really doesn't stick to the tape. See, it's still wet. It's just weird. But I'll let that air dry a little bit more. So, but you can see <clears throat> what I've accomplished with just using black duct tape. I'll get you a closer look there. Over here, let's get this peeled off. And I think there's like seven dollars or eight dollars for a can of uh foam i mean how can you beat fixing your rocker panels for probably like i don't know 25 bucks and you're all said and done <clears throat> to this side i use a piece of tape to keep it from going back any further piece of tape keeping it from bonding onto the rocker panel or a uh, fender skirt so i'm going to just take a sawzall blade like this and then i'm just going to cut away the sections that I don't need, or a razor blade. And I'm gonna do this all the way around the truck. I'll come back to that, but I just wanted to show you what I'm doing. This side over here was really bad. I didn't use a tape mold for this, but I'm sure it's not stuck there. Over here is where this was tape molded in and that some of that urethane pushed out which I don't really care because I'm probably gonna, it's going to knock that down anyway so now you can see that I have a good foundation to work with it's still not cure all the way which is completely weird but that's okay It's if it's not what you want just take it down if you want uh you can just fill it in with urethane or Bondo or whatever else. I've actually, once I got it down again, I put a light coating of foam on it again just to fill in some of the, the uh, areas that didn't take. But in, in my opinion, this is a pretty solid repair. I've got a hole back here, so I'll pump some more into it. But you can see it takes shape really easy. Um, and I'm excited because now I don't have to spend $400 for weld on rockers and then try and cut out the rot and make sure that it doesn't come back, which rot always, rust always comes back. It always does. Not unless you completely get it out and prep it right and take your time and the environment's good. But I'll, I'll show you once I get it cleaned up and to the next step. Thanks for watching.